Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to Market Wrap number 220. Stuart Williamson here at the helm. This week we're going to be covering, is your house price at risk based on the Labour government's latest policy changes for new builds? Basically, Labour has announced what their new build policy will be and where they're going to be putting the new homes. And will it be round by your house, which could affect its price? Or would it affect its price? Basically, they're suggesting now that they wish to have large increases in building in the north. The target's going to double in the northeast from 6,000 to 12,000. In the northwest, it's actually going to double again from 21,000 to just shy of 40,000. Specific areas like Redcar. I don't know if you've ever been to Redcar, but uh, it's a lovely place on the coast just near um, Middlesbrough. There are increasing the number of new homes to be built there from 46 to 462. I don't really understand what the rationale is behind all these, these, these suggests, suggestions, but in Burnley, it's been picked on to have an increase of 623% of new homes being built. Other areas like Westmoreland, Furness, and Heinburn will also have 500% increases on new homes to be built. However, on the other side of the coin, London's overall housing target will be cut by 20%. Bristol, Nottingham, and Birmingham will also see reductions, and Tower Hamlets will be more than 60% cut in the new homes that they expect they want to build there. Does this make sense? Where really is the shortage of housing, and therefore the highest rents and the highest prices? It's in the southeast. So wouldn't it make more sense to have building going on in the southeast? Or is it a case of it's a nimbyism, not in my backyard, which I feel it's where it's what's going on really. They don't want to build in areas where they're going to get people complaining too much. There's lots of open space in the north, let's build there. But it's where there's the least demand. So there is absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. Anthony Breach, who's the Associate Director of Centre for Cities, basically has gone out and said this is the case. More housing is needed in locations where there is the highest rentals and the highest prices. So it's complete error, as far as I can see, on their behalf. Samuel Hughes, the head of housing at the Centre for Policy Studies, said the allocation is troubling and the whole plan is wrong. So it's not just me saying that, it's the people that actually do know about it, the gurus of this world. So will it affect your house price? It's an interesting question. Uh, I don't frankly think it will because the UK housing market is very inelastic. I mean, as I think I said last week, if you dropped in 1.5 million houses into the UK today, it's not going to have that much of a difference because there's a huge amount of demand and a very tight supply. So new houses won't make that much of a difference. What is important, what we should focus on, is really what type of housing is being built. You know, social housing during Margaret Thatcher's era was cut from over four, uh, four million houses down to, I think, 2.8, 2.9, that sort of figure. And they've never been repl replaced. And now the government has a 35 billion annual bill putting people up in guest houses and short-term tenancies. So the sort of stuff we're building needs to be focused on and where it's being built needs to be looked at. And these are the issues it's not occurring, really. And in conclusion, Labour's new housing targets reflect a significant shift in focus towards northern regions, raising questions about their potential impact on housing shortages and property prices there. It raises the question, but I don't think it'll answer it, any questions. While the overall increase in targets is good, the distribution is completely wrong. They're building properties in the wrong location, uh, I think, and also for the wrong reasons, the wrong sort of property. It should be broken down into social housing, affordable housing, single home family housing, as opposed to just general housing targets. There we go, that's the market wrap 220 for this week. I hope you enjoyed that. Not very exciting or inspiring, inspiring, but it's important to know what the Labour Party has got planned and is it gonna affect your house price? In a word, no. Thanks very much.